Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, ye
that's different. It's funny though, like it's deceiving because it says SXT on the back. Yeah. But it does have the Hemi V8 in it. 41,000 miles. Brake, ABS light, come on. Those lights come on. Those lights come on. What else? The, oh, those lights come on. Get out? Because most of the time you don't have that, right? Yeah, my supervisor said her brother has a... Police car? Yeah, his doesn't have anything. You, you gotta sit back there to see if they work. <laughs> They, they work? You can get out? It's definitely a big boy. Five seven. This? This is a uh, radiation fluid to keep the engine cool. It's like engine cooling. This is my fuse bay. This that's how I jump the car. This is my windshield wiper fluid. It's pretty. It's pretty clean. I mean, they shined all this up, but it looks pretty. Looks pretty clean. I checked the oil in there. Actually, I didn't check the oil. But the oil looked pretty clear. She will get up and go. Can we, uh... Possible for a test drive? Yeah. She didn't really mess with the police packages too much. But okay. Like credit unions and other banks like that, they definitely do. Um, do you have your license on you? I do. Okay, cool. Oh, Let's get a let me scrap to the car sure, real quick. Sure, sure. Appreciate it. Sound pretty good. The first one was like click, 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 click. Yes. That is, but I'm gonna ask him. See, that's in the daily use only. 
That's the engine oil. Let's see, I don't see the transmission fluid. But that could be the transmission. Could be the transmission fluid. I'm not really sure. That one could be the transmission fluid. I see y'all's question. Can you hold this? Yes. Thank you. It's on. Okay. It's, um, I just had a question. This is your engine oil. What's, what's this right here? That right there? Mm -hmm. This is where, this is where you would actually, let me see. Good question. Maybe. Because all the components, it might be. Oh no, that's going to be corn. So that might be the power steering, actually, because all the components, like the power steering pump and everything, are underneath. Okay, okay. It's going to be over in the setup. So that might be it. But I can uh, be Googling that in a heartbeat. What is this? This is locked on. But this is a police package for daily use only. Maybe that is the transmission fluid. Chris, get out there. Make sure you get a little hard on the brakes to start just to knock all the rust and everything. Oh, okay, you know, okay. They sit for a couple days, the rotors tend to rust up, and I don't want you to think it's brake issues. Right, oh, okay. Spin, take a spin. Let me know what you think when you get back. Thank you, sir. No worries. Here, let me get my car just in case you need it. Yeah. It's cool actually because you know on the police package ones it has the column shifter instead of the console shifter. Right, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. The other RTs and stuff. I see it opened so up the space actually, in there. Yeah, well we actually had to get that's a whole console piece and everything from an RT. Oh okay. That we got. So they're actually like this is the piece of set up like if it was a shifter. Oh right, it, it would be in the middle. <laughs> um, yeah, so we had to kind of cut and paste in order to get in there because it was like the there was a console in there that had like mounts and all these screw holes and everything for like a laptop for the cops. Oh right, know? right. You know what I mean? But it was yeah. messy, it was all messed up right so we replaced that actually. Really okay. Did our best to kind of put that uh you know the standard charger thing in there. Okay. But, yeah, you said go ahead, do your thing. I'll be here. Thank you, sir. No worries. Girl, sit up in the front. We gonna ask him about that too. Okay. So you gonna let me catch the injury by myself? No, it's for the driver too. No, it's not. Got the mirror. I got one over here. I got a mirror. Okay. I gotta keep this clean. I don't have no lights. It's hot. Got the dome light. I like this shit. I'm gonna I'm change that to a white light though. If I get it. AC nice and cold. Oh, it's only auto up, no down. Ready? Let's hit it. We got a Dodge Charger 2010 white. It's an SXT on the back, but this was a police vehicle. Cruise. It's a 
big vehicle. Let me get my ways on. It's definitely getting cold in here. Dang, this car is so big, I gotta scoot up a little bit. <laughs> I'm used to having something right here. You hear that? I'm not even sure. Oh, what's this? Uh, see? Something open? Is a door open? Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Ready? Let's go see what's up with it. Put a whole couple of people back there. Damn, oh, I like having my battery back here too. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. I wonder though. I don't get a spare tire. So I don't get no spare tire. But they got a this, a this big old battery in here. It's plenty of space. I don't have no jack. This is pretty much like looks like this is like pretty much. It's stone in here, but I ain't too mad about that. Okay. Okay. So I can run through the gears. 
I guess it's one, two, three, four. I'm gonna test that a little bit. I do like it. I'm, I'm feeling it. So let's take it back. I'm, I'm really like this light because imagine the red light special girl. <laughs> Definitely feeling this. It is. It's all right, you know. I can definitely get a wheel, steering wheel cover. Definitely get some seat covers, you know. This down here. I'm gonna see if he can replace this. Replace this, replace this. Say they got like police suspension on here. Um, you know, like the shops and stuff, how it sits, how it rides. It's got different types, which ain't, it's not really a bad thing. It's just, it's just beefier, it's heavy, more heavy duty. So it could take a lot more wear and tear, which is, which is good. It's a big body. Let me tell you something, I like it. I definitely do. Comfortable back seats. Girl, these seats comfortable back here. I like these seats back here. I wish they had the leather seats in the front. Damn. Yeah. That's horrible there. What do you think? Uh, I like it. Find me another. Find me a V8 Charger. 41,000 miles on it for nine grand. Right, you know yeah, right. So with this, with this, since it's a package, it, it doesn't come with the spare tire? Did we already look? Yeah, yeah, we look, we wasn't. <laughs> wasn't in there. Spare tire yeah, that might be the case. Oh yeah, cause they have the, the changed up, uh, 
you know, because they got the battery in the back here. Yeah, yeah, they change up the trunk, the trunk for the, the cop package. Right, but okay. Yeah, right, correct, so it does not come with a spare. Funny enough, though, I actually saw a set of these rims with tires on them for like 200 bucks on Craigslist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking for another car we had. <clears throat> happened to cross them. But it's not bad. It's not, it's not. Okay. One second, I'll tag it down real quick. Paint chipped right here. I seen this before we pulled off the lot. Right here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Get a little bit of rest. It's it's cool. I like it. Alright, nice to meet you, Chris. Thank you. You as well. I mean, so it doesn't come with a spare tire. So that's one thing. The price isn't adjustable. The price is adjustable. Uh, he said, like, with the price, he's like, it's really like the one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said the price is the Yeah. He did say that, but it's about how bad he wants to sell the car. He don't look like he... Pressed to sell it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I mean... It was. It's a, it's a nice car. I do like it. I do got a couple butts. So you just finished watching the video on our first daily search. We came across a 2010 Dodge Charger police package. So you know it had the upgraded brakes, the upgraded suspension, it had the big Hemi V8 in there, 5'7", and it was pretty much gutted out, pretty much. Um, you know, they, uh, they, they pretty much threw the center console in there. It was put in there together, but it was just a few cosmetic things wrong. Uh, I didn't have any lights in the back seats. Uh, Cause they took that out for the police car and definitely didn't have a sunroof and um, no spare tire like you know. Uh, also, it uh that vehicle, 2009-2012 Chargers, Challengers, and I think the Magnums they had recall issues. So they had three recalls. Two of them was the airbags where the passenger airbag and the driver airbag it could just like rupture randomly. And they were saying that the shards or something in the airbags could severely injure or kill the person. So that was that was definitely dangerous. So we can't be having that. Yeah, but the, uh, we can get that fixed. But the main thing that really was set that set me back from the vehicle um, is that those vehicles in that year they have timing chain issues. So the timing chain is inside of your engine. If you open your hood and look at your engine, you're not gonna see it. But it's actually inside the engine. And it's a metal chain and it's very important. When that, uh, the only reason your engine is running is because of that chain. So if your chain pops, and that's what's been happening, people's chains been snapping, it's like, that's done. Your, uh, those metal, you know, your metal links get tossed up in there with your pistons and your oils and, and your heads, man. Your engine is ruined. You pretty much just gotta buy a whole new engine. And um, even though that was on recall, you know, I have seen people 38,000 miles, 50,000 miles, 100,000 miles, 80,000 miles, 20,000 miles, 35,000 miles. From the low end to the high end, these chains pop and it's random. You can't predict it. And um, the most scary thing is that people were saying that it happens on highway speeds. And it's because of the feature that Dodge had for these vehicles at this time. But it happens at highway speeds. Imagine going 60, 70, you traveling in a Hershey Park or something with your peoples and your engine go out. Like... You know what I'm saying? That's something scary. You 100 miles away from home, you gotta get a tow, that's gonna be expensive. You know, God forbid you gotta get a hotel, now you gotta pay for that. You can't even go to the park, like, it's just a total headache. You 
Cars gonna be down for like a month or two in the shop waiting for parts to come in and all of that. Like that's just a total headache and I didn't wanna deal with that. And then um you know, I, I looked at a lot of Charger forums and a lot of Challenger forums. Those were the main two cars. Uh, it was really the Challenger, but the Charger got thrown in there too. And I was looking at the forums and everybody kept saying how at some point this chain was going to go. And even though that the dealer was fixing them for free, I didn't see anybody talk about what their car performed like after they had that time and chain replaced. And the last thing we want to do is get a car where all, this, all the red flags are there and you know, we run into issues. Like, we get the Simon chain fixed anyway, but now the engine just doesn't run the same. And I had had people say that they tried to get the, they had the timing chain replaced, they put the engine back together, and they're, then the rods are bent. Now they're waiting on rods to come in, and then they put it back together, and then the timing is off. So now, it's just a lot of issues, y'all, but we not gonna get even get into that. We're not gonna get the charger. It was cool, but it that just wasn't it, y'all, so. Until next time, y'all. Thanks for tuning in, man. Rich Brand TV, Rich Tube. Just keep it locked right here. Next time, we're going to be headed out, y'all. So that's pretty much it, y'all. Deuces.